Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich with a new episode of our Star-Lord run of Let's Play Out There Omega Edition. The goal of our Star-Lord run is either of two outcomes. The first is a Star Destroyer where we somehow find a way to make a Star Killer device and the second is Terraformer where we try to terraform a system. Either of these outcomes will be considered a success. And I have to say that we have been incredibly fortunate and we have picked up an amazing new ship which includes the Death Seed, which is our Star Destroyer. And all it requires is an Omega element in order for us to be able to actually carry our plans into being. So we have actually just done a jump in the last episode. We... Uh, we started off and hit a couple planets. I think the very first planet, uh, the very first next system, we actually hit a singularity and it warped this all the way down, um, kind of probably 20 or, or so stars down the way. And we've been making our way forward. We have not encountered any alien life. We did just, as we entered this system, top our fuel, our oxygen tanks off quite serendipitously. And we are looking at a rocky planet and a gas giant here. Now, the rocky planet is somewhat interesting to me, but not completely. In my limited experience of this game, I find that the element that we would really like, which is gold, is more likely to be found on garden planets. Now, garden planets tend to be found more frequently on yellow uh, yellow dwarfs, which we're kind of not in the neighborhood of. But the gas giants are pretty good with fuel, and we could just use a top off of fuel. So I think we'll head over to that orbit there. We've taken a tiny bit of hull damage. I'm going to go ahead and drop our hydrogen into the tank, and we will probe for any extra. Maybe we can get another... Uh, good shot of helium oh a sudden pressure surge destroyed my probe it's quite shaking as well i'll have to rebuild it drilling this deep can be hazardous yes um okay and it it took out uh the the drill killed itself uh our, the probe killed itself but it left us a platinum and we will craft that with the leftover platinum We've got some some iron still and a decent load of helium, actually. Quite a decent load of helium. Okay. I think that's a pretty good load overall. And I think that will finish off this system. We will skip the rocky planet. And we want to try to find a planet with a garden. A garden planet. Neutron. Neutron. Dwarf. Huh? Those don't sound quite appealing. The black hole. The black hole does make me curious, but uh, I also am not really sure about it. Let's see here. A neutron star, a supernova. What's, what are these? Neutron star, neutron, so black hole, neutron star, red dwarf, yellow dwarf. Okay, that's where we're going. Black hole. Let's see what happens at the black hole. Uh, so many ways you can die in this game. So many ways. Oops. Oh, that's cool looking. We didn't get horribly destroyed. That's good. Dangerous atmosphere. I don't think I'm going to go there, guys. Wow. It's really cool, though. Yeah, we're not going to orbit a black hole. Sorry, folks. Okay, well, that's cool. We made it. Somehow we can jump away from it, so that's good. Because we want to get over here. Yellow dwarf. Yeah, let's check out our... New, our nearby neutron star. We're still looking for some gold to um, fix our solar sails. Day 72. The device, the devices here are constantly subject to cosmic rays. Metals vaporize and fill the air with strange smells. A pleasant enough change from the constant smell of sweat. I can smell burnt sugar and the delicate salty scent of an invisible sea. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Rocky planet. Um, no. I don't think so. But I will say, let's go ahead and fill our tanks a bit. Go. Good. Alright. I like it. 
I kind of like to have a cargo available um, when we enter a system just on the off chance that that system ends up supplying us something. Here's our yellow dwarf. Here's the supernova. Neutron star. Red dwarf. Uh, I'm keeping, keep hoping that I'm going to run into another yellow dwarf. Okay, go to there. Omega, 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 Omega. Yellow dwarf. Day 81. A massive artifact fills all visible space around me and eclipses the star field. It's geometric, smooth, the work of an alien race of unmeasurable power and obscure intentions. It is spotted with countless large openings that seem to be silently waiting for me. Ignore? That's all I can do is ignore? I want to explore it. Why can't I do something more? Well, I am not yet ready to explore this labyrinthine planet. <laughs> Sadness. A uh, rocky planet. This is not the planet I'm looking for. Oh gosh. Hmm. What are you? Neutron? Black hole? Red dwarf? Red dwarf? Yellow dwarf? 54, okay. Supernova, here we go. I'm a sucker for the yellow dwarfs. I'm a sucker for the yellow dwarfs. The trip went well. Well, at least until I arrived and was blinded by a flash of cosmic rays. Just before everything went dim, I noticed that my ship was flying straight into an asteroid belt. What should I do? Activate the gravitational well generator. Jump to another system right now, fly at random and pray. Well, I don't think we'll go with the at random and pray, because RNG Jesus sometimes isn't very good to us in this game, but activate the gravitational well generator, or jump to another system. Uh, this will jump us farther. Fumbling in the dark, I couple the gravitational well generator, which can detect small masses in the void to the ship controls, then I curl up on the ground and pull up, pray. If it was just luck or my prayers, I'll never know, but my ship somehow maneuvered through the asteroid field without damage. A couple of hours later, my vision returned, and now I continue my journey. Okay. I have a garden planet. Nice. Rocky and a gas giant. Excellent. You are going there. Yes, sir. We will land... I do want to land. Yes, I do. Okay, the breathable atmosphere of this planet has allowed me to restore my oxygen supply. Excellent! Alright, we will encounter the life. The race is the real Kizgar and yeah. All of the alien speech I do not understand. We something something them. That's them. And them or they. Yeah binary choices I I'm pretty much approving it wants something for my cargo you can have an iron the alien receives my gift but doesn't seem to like it you've learned a new word fear okay well that didn't help us let's drill and see if we can hit a mother load of gold dude just what we need two gold um, don't need the oxygen. Cool. Finish that. We can... We can repair this. Okay. We can also build an Ansible. Well, we don't have the CO. The Ansible helps us detect enemy fleets. Let's go ahead and build... Let's go ahead and repair the solar sails. That'll make us more fuel efficient. Let's go ahead and top off our tanks and cruise over to the uh, gas giant take off from here sometimes our uh, alien encounters will put us in touch with um, a race that will give us an Omega that's how we've gotten Omegas before okay or the gas giant a little bit of fuel uh, hull damage let's go ahead and probe it 
Going deep, launching the probe. Oh, that's lousy. Okay, well, you're not my favorite planet. Finish. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Hmm. Yellow dwarf. I like it. Let's do it. Go, go, go. Okay, yellow dwarf. Day 99. A lot of stars are nearby. In order to protect myself from cosmic rays, I wear a spacesuit most of the time. As I can't shower, it's a real pain. Sometimes, to wedge myself between some of my equipment, I must take off the suit. Then I see that my face is tanned almost black and my body pale. And that's not all. The unknown power of these stars has left strange marks on my body. Ooh. Okay, Garden Planet, thank you very much. Gas Giant, thank you very much. And Gas Giant, perfect. Let us orbit this breathable atmosphere of this planet. Let us land. The breathable atmosphere has filled my oxygen supply. Beautiful, beautiful terrain here. Let us encounter the life. The race is Omkadoof. It places something on the ground and runs away. We got an... I think we got an Omega. Did we get an Omega? Oh no. I didn't have space for it. Ivan, you dummy. Oh. I had the chance at an Omega, but I didn't have it. Oh. That was our Star Lord run right there. What are the chances that we'll have that happen again? Oh my, let's probe it. Let's get some helium. Nice. Helium is good. Hydrogen is good. Alright. Let's finish that. Let's top our tanks off again here. Wow. That was sad. Let's go there. Okay. Let's cruise over to the other gas giant and launch a probe into that one. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. But I know there's other ways to get Omegas. Alright, that wasn't incredibly useful. Alright. Finish that. Our hull is pretty beat up too. Let's go ahead and split our iron. Split our iron. Well... Or drop one of these. Drop the platinum. Drop the oxygen. Alright, let's top the oxygen off. Hello? Why are you not letting me do this? Go back. Hello? Um. Okay. Let's hit the interface will allow me to do what I need to do. Oh no! Looks like I might be hung here, folks. Try this, the main menu. Resume. Okay. Well, that's kind of a pain. I can't even get back. Let me see if some keyboard commands work. Um, those aren't working. Backspace. Well, Drat, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and quit this run here. We'll quit this episode. Um, I'll fire the game back up and see what Resume does for us. So, um, we'll go ahead and put an end. No, we won't. I'll go ahead and, and uh, see what that does for us, and let's see what happens here. So we'll quit, confirm, continue, play. Okay, it put us back at the beginning of the system. Um, a garden planet, we'll orbit it again. Um, we did have the chance for the Omega, and I don't know if that'll still be there. I don't know exactly how random it is, but we'll go ahead and burn our fuel. 
We'll go ahead and land. Yes. Um, it looks like it might be the same. Different race. And we got an Omega. Well, um, not exactly the way I like to play. Um, I kind of like to do straight roguelike runs. I don't like to reload or save scum. But at the same time, um, it did. The game crashed, and we just kind of had to reload it. So um, I don't know. I guess we'll we'll go with it from here. And with that in mind, I think all I need to do is try to get some fuel. So let's go over here. Let us probe. Uh, let's go to seven. I like seven. Seven seems to be pretty productive. We have the heliums. Yeah, I should have... Okay, let's get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of silicon. Because I really would like to top my fuel off in this system. Okay, finish that. Ship up. All the hydrogen in there. That's good. We have an Omega. And we can use... But it's working... A truly deadly device, when combined with the mysterious power of the Omega element, it increases the mass of a target star beyond the limit, thus transforming it into a black hole and eliminating all life in the local system. Now, how do you actually activate it? Good question. I don't know. So, here it... Oh, look at that. It shows you you can dump it into these things. And I did want to mention that, too. Oh, gosh. I'm glad I remembered before this episode was out. Um, Grand Zombie 845 left me a comment at the end of the last run of my la Alpha 04 uh, ship run, letting me know that uh, he has. Did you know you could use the Omega for 25 fuel? And I didn't, but it was something after this run was over. I thought, man, I wonder if Omega would have given us fuel. We went adrift in space, and that shows it right there. But I really appreciate Grand Zombie uh, giving me that tip. And again, if you have any tips um, and would like to comment and leave them in the comments, I would completely appreciate them. Uh, I totally uh, enjoy them, and I, and I love all the interactions. So definitely, um, it's cool. Now, I drop it on here. I really don't want to destroy the system. All right, we'll 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 wait till we go to a new system. Um, all right, let's see what what have we got here. Uh, supernova, blue giant, supernova, white dwarf, hmm, kind of going backwards. We still do have to go this way generally. It's still quite a ways away, but we do have to get there eventually. All right, off we go, traveling to the supernova. Day 108, the cosmic rays from the local star were bombarding a powerful magnetic field, creating in open space an aurora borealis as big as a thousand suns. I was enthralled by the unspeakable beauty of this giant and luminous arc. That was until I discovered that the magnetic disturbance had erased entries in my database. You have lost the technology, solar sails. That's not cool. Okay, here's another garden planet and a rocky planet, and a gas giant. Okay. And my options here... Um, I don't see any options to destroy the star. I wonder if I need to have that and have it happen with a device, uh, with a, an encounter. So that didn't do that. Information... I don't want to dismantle it or repair it. Okay, so this is interesting. How to work this device. How to make this happen, if necessary. I wonder if the Omega has to be next to it. All right, let's try this. Let's dismantle. Okay. Adjacency. I'm looking for the adjacency to see if that would do it. That didn't do it. And right, let's go ahead and make our telescope again. Craft it. Yes, okay. Okay, so I've got the telescope there. Um, 
I'm also curious about the adjacency. I'll need gold and CO. And what is CO again? Will it tell me? It won't tell me. Um, and I don't have the gold, so I would rather not dismantle that. How about this? If I dismantle this, I'll get iron. See, I'm trying to see if and thorium, if I put these adjacent to each other, uh, if that will make a difference. Let's do some ship reconfiguration. Put this here, move the thorium up there, take this apart, put it here. Okay, dismantle. Put it um, in a planetary reactor. What did I just undo? <laughs> what did I just undo? The space folder. And I need silicon. Well, that was smart, Ivan. Jeez. Ivan, you're an idiot. Okay, Ivan, smell this. Space folder, let's make one here. Thank you very much. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's move the thorium over here. Let's dismantle that. We'll get a thorium. Okay, confirm that. Let's build that. Um, whoa, Ivan, you're such an idiot. You don't have the technology for that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, sorry, folks. Um, Ivan moments is what we call these. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just go to the garden planet. <laughs> let's see what's going to happen here. Land on it. Yeah, I want to land on it. Okay, the breathable atmosphere has restored it. Good. Let's dump some fuel into my ship. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. What a knucklehead. What a knucklehead. Let's find out who we meet here. The Merker, Merker, Merker. We don't know either of them. I'm going to disapprove this time. Okay. He doesn't want to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Um Jeez. Yeah, let's just let's drill a five. Well, okay, I've got some of this. What is it again? It is cobalt! Yeah. <laughs> we needed some cobalt for something. We needed gold to make this ansible. We need silicon. Oh, jeez. My goodness. What a... What a zipper head. Okay. Um, we're gonna finish, and we're gonna take off. Yep. And we are going to cruise over to the... Gas Giant? And... Wait, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Alright, we're going to launch a probe. Ooh, good load of fuel here. Excellent load of fuel. Our hull is getting a bit low. So I think we'll we'll hit the other planet for some iron, hopefully. Oh man. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's go ahead and... Oh yeah. That's not what I need. I want to split this. Okay. And dump this into our fuel, into our hull, so that at least we can survive some more punishment. It's actually not bad. Let's go ahead and, and hit the rocky planet, see if we can get some iron before we call this episode here. Confirm we want to land on it. Drill. Go to six. Got a decent amount of iron, that's good, and silicon, that's good. Uh, and if I wanted to make something, I could craft cryonics or telescope. Well, I don't really need cryonics. I could use a telescope, though. You don't really have to have a telescope either, though. All right, we're going to leave the silicon. We're going to hang on to the hydrogen. Uh, let's drop the oxygen. Don't need it. And keep the silicon. 
because who knows we may learn how to make stuff again oh god I can't believe I destroyed that stuff <laughs> all right time to get out of here take off yes confirm Let's go to the next system and finish this episode up. It is a... It is non-responsive system. We don't have the telescope, so we can't zoom in and out. And we can't get in and out. Ah... Uh... This is frustrating. I'm just going to call it. Okay, folks, when we resume, we will be right back here at our uh, supernova <laughs> supernova planet and system for our Beta zero, the, our Bravo Zero 3 episode. But I do want to thank you for joining me for Bravo Zero 2 with all the derpiness and Ivan moments. <laughs> I do want to thank you for joining me. This this is a fun game. Even when you make mistakes, it's pretty fun. So uh, I invite you to join me for the next episode of Let's Play Out There Omega Edition. You have been rocking the indies with Ivan Dogovich. Cheers.